love the channel and find it useful in becoming a happy retiree. Subscribe today. I want to go back to the phones here. We we took a call from Steve. Steve, are you still with me? Yeah, I am, and, and I did get some specific information uh, for you. I'm looking at my account, and on these... And, and let me just ref refresh our listeners here, Steve, if you're just yeah. tuning in. The question goes back to, here we are in this environment where for so many years, the Fed kept their target Fed funds rate at zero or virtually zero, and that pulled down yields we've seen in, in everything, the bond market, and particularly when you're in, when when money is just sitting in cash at a bank. So your money market yield that we used to get two and three percent on today, uh, go back a year, paid virtually zero. Today, those money market yields have crept back up. And I think this is a really good point. The reason I want to take your call, Steve, is that some money markets have crept back up close to one percent and some have pretty much stayed in the quarter to half a percent range which is a pretty big difference, particularly if you have a lot of money just sitting in cash at one of these big brokerage firms. So I think the reason I want to take the call, I think that, that it, it's, it's been so many years, investors have gotten very used to their cash paying zero. It shouldn't be paying zero anymore. So your question, Steve. My question is, I'm in two different uh, money market accounts with Vanguard. One is the Vanguard Municipal money market fund, which is VMSXX. I believe it is a tax-free account. And then in my SEP IRA, I'm in something exactly the same. It's just a SEP. So it's the Vanguard Prime money market fund, VMMX. And I'm looking at, you know, what's in there. And what I'm seeing is that the yield, one-year yield on this is 0.59% on the VMMXX. So, that is, one, so, Steve, though, that's what you've received over the past year? Correct, in, in income for having money in it. Got it. So, so in, over the next year, those should all be getting higher and higher. If you look at the prime money market fund today at, uh, at Vanguard, and this is, a, is slightly different as I bring up this list. This is VMRXX, which is Prime Money Market Admiral. So it might have a slightly higher yield than what you're talking about. It, they, well, here's where I'm confused. I've got over $100,000 in my VMS double X fund, but the yield is like 0.4 something for the entire last year, but it is a tax free account. So on the other hand, I don't pay taxes. The whole reason I went into it is because I had. You know, $150,000 plus in cash in there. And I thought I'm better off on the end of not paying a tax than taking a, a slightly higher yield and getting hit with a tax at the end of the year where I have to pay it all back and, and then a little bit more some. So, But that sounds about right, though, Steve. But what we, with money markets, it's very much about what where your current yield is because the, your current money market yields are going to adjust to the Fed. And now, if you look at the SEC yield, which will be more indicative of what you should get over the next year, if you look at that same fund, VMSXX, or the, the Municipal Money Market Fund at Vanguard, the, the new SEC yield is 0.77. So it has definitely gone up a bunch. The, yes, the expense is 0.15, which is arguably more than the stock market, but the net yield on this is about three quarters of a percent, and that's a tax-free yield. So remember, the, you've got to look at the municipal bond market in order to figure out what happens to these municipal bond money markets, and your yield over the next year has certainly gone up. So I think the message, and, and I appreciate your call, Steve, because I think, I think it's a reminder to all of our listeners that yields have gone up from the Fed. They have manually raised their target rate. That means that these big banking institutions can effectively get a higher guaranteed rate on the money that they effectively coordinate with the Fed. And then in, th in that case, in turn, the money market rates should be going up. So make sure you take a look at your money market yield, it's particularly if you're going to have a lot of money mar money sitting, $100,000, $200,000 in your case, uh, of money that's just sitting there, uh, a, a full 1% higher is a is pretty substantial. So So I think we all need to keep our eye out for that and inquire about that, depending on what institution that our money is, whatever custodian we have our money with. 
Hi, I'm Wes Moss, and thanks for taking a minute to hear about what's so different about my new book, You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think. So unlike other retirement books, this book will give you a step-by-step -step guide, whether in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, to learn from what these successful and happy retirees did to get there. I hope you enjoy the book, but more importantly, I know that it'll help you retire sooner than you think.